You'll be voting for more than just the presidency come election day. There are a number of both state and local races on the ballot. But if you live in Guilford County, at the very end, you will see two questions about a school bond referendum and a sales tax increase. A group of Guilford County business and community leaders are hoping that you'll vote yes to both. They formed a committee that just launched this week called the Vote Smart Campaign. I spoke with a committee co-chair on why your vote matters. It's hard to forget these images. Dented shades, uprooted flooring, lockers falling apart. They give a glimpse of the condition many Guilford County schools are in right now. It hurts my heart to see that. Last November, the district released a $2 billion master plan to overhaul the district's aging schools. No school would be left untouched, but the plan needs funding in order to begin. There was an old phrase that goes, you'll either pay now or pay later. So if we don't have educated students, then they will ultimately become uneducated adults. Frank Thomas is the co-chair of the Vote Smart Committee. SMART standing for Safe, Modern, Accessible, Renovated and Tech Ready Schools. The committee is pushing for voters to say yes to the $300 million bond referendum and proposed quarter cent sales tax increase on November's ballot. We want people to invest in our schools because we don't see it just as a bond campaign, but we see it as an investment into our future. The money would be used to address GCS schools in the worst conditions, acquire land for new buildings, start repairs, implement much needed technology upgrades and improve school safety. Thomas says the 300 million would be a start towards a brighter tomorrow. We're going to need everybody in Guilford County, whether you have children in schools or not, to roll up your sleeves and do what's best for our children. The average GCS school is 54 years old. The district is hoping to bring that number down to 25 should they get the funds they need. Now, if the bond referendum passes, but the sales tax increase fails, it's likely property taxes would have to go up to cover the bond.